They're in just about every box you get in the mail, and they almost immediately get thrown in the trash. Now one group of scientists wants to turn those packing peanuts into power. Vilas Pohl and his team of students at Purdue University will present research on their packing peanut power supply at a meeting of the American Chemical Society in Denver. The idea came when Pohl was setting up a new lab. All of the instruments came packed in thousands of little polystyrene and starch-based packing peanuts. And we were dumping them out once we took out those electronics. Only about 10% of packing peanuts get recycled each year. Billions of them get dumped in landfills, and they stay for a long time. The polystyrene-based packing peanuts will stay at least 100 years without decomposing in the soil. So Paul and his team used chemistry to turn the trash into something useful. They heated the packing peanuts to high temperature, reducing them to very thin carbon sheets or carbon nanoparticles, depending on the kind of packing peanuts. These carbonaceous materials, as they're called, have a very large surface area. That means they can store more lithium ion material, creating a higher capacity, faster charging battery. The team's materials actually outperform current commercial batteries, and the packing peanut power sources are very easy to produce. The beauty of our process is we can scale it up very easily. Pulse team has big hopes for their technology in the next few years. In five years, I think we can recycle at least 50% of the packing peanuts and convert them into these carbonaceous materials. You take totally useless thing and make something useful for the society. Paul is proud his team has found a way for their trash to benefit the planet.